It's time for the Greg Holliman Show. Learn each week what's going on in Tell City Marksman Basketball. Brought to you by the Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Millie Bros for Communications. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Hello and welcome to this week's Greg Holland Show. Coach, last week on Friday you played Pike Central at Pike Central, and on Saturday you played at home against Southridge. I want you to recap both those games for us. Yeah, so went on the road to Pike Central, um, which was kind of a good opportunity for us. Um, like I said last week, we didn't get a chance to play them two years ago or go there two years ago because of COVID. Um, so it was cool to go there. Our kids had never played there, you know, with the track around it, and it's kind of in the middle of it. It's a, it's a unique gym. Um, but, you know, we played a really tough opponent. I would put them right up there in that top upper echelon of the PAC. I'd put them right up there with South Spencer, Heritage Hills. I mean, obviously they beat Heritage, had tight games with everybody else. Um, definitely talented enough to win that sectional. Obviously, North Davies is kind of the favorite, Heritage Hills, but they're right there with them. Um, and so it's cool to play a team that, you know, in a, in a sense, you know, it's kind of where we want to be. They were struggling four years ago, one win season, then three, then ten. You know, now all the way up to 12 now. We're not done. Uh, so it's cool for our kids to play against a team like that and show them, like, hey, you know, we're, they've been where we're at, and now look at them. This is where we're going to be in three years. So it's cool to, to show them that, and, and that kind of helped us, you know, boost it up a little bit spirit-wise at the end of the year, like as we get through these, you know, February weeks where we're almost at the end, but we're not quite there, and we're in a rebuild. And, you know, we're kind of really just focusing, you know, more on the future, and it was, it was a good to re kind of drive that message home with the kids. Um, and then we played, um, you know, Southridge here, um, you know, really scrappy team. I was really impressed. Obviously, you know, Coach LaGrange has had a lot of success coaching the Jasper and Jeffersonville. But, um, you know, you can tell that he's he's got some really good kids, that are really nice. You know, we didn't have – I mean, I've heard nothing but good things. and But they just – they work hard. I would say they didn't take one possession defensively off. Um, and we saw some different things. Some other guys kind of score. Um, you know, Byron had – 24 against Pike again, so he's, you know, had the hot hand, and then he had five on Saturday, and it was good to see some other guys step up and score. Isaac um, Isaac had a great game. It's good to see him there. Um, but, yeah, just two tough opponents, and I wish I could say they were going to get easier these next three, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, the PAC right now, this and it, it, actually in football and in basketball, it's been a grind if you're in the Pikes in, 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 in the PAC. Oh yeah, it's and that's it's not going to change anytime soon. Um, I'd say the same thing for football. I'd say the same. I'd say all the way to to swimming. I'd say the same thing. It's just it's a really talented, really tough conference to win, to compete in, and uh, but in the long run, that makes everybody better. And we'll be back on the Greg Holland Show. Rise these messages from our sponsors. You're listening to Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Billy and Bros Smart Communications. Dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com 
or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. At MAD, we believe in zero. Zero fathers who aren't there for bedtime. Zero mothers who miss the first day of school. Zero children who never come home. We believe in zero victims of drunk driving. With MAD, your support adds up to zero. Because we believe in a hug on the first day of school. We believe in another bedtime story. We believe in no more victims. We believe in zero. And welcome back to the Great Holiday Show. Coach, uh, this Friday you're going to be playing away at Heritage Hills. On Saturday you're going to be playing at home against North Posey. And then next Tuesday you'll be going away for your final game of the year at to Boonville. Um, and, uh, and Saturday night, you'll have senior night too. Um, you know, um, oh, yeah. why don't you preview those games for us? Yeah. So Friday, going to heritage Hills. Um, you know, obviously you know, they're a very talented team. They've got a great record this year. They've done some, um, some different stuff. I watched, um, you know, we've seen them throughout the year. They're in a holiday tournament. So we were able to catch a couple games there. Um, you know, they've switched up a lot. They've played really well. They've had some games where they lost close ones, and they've had some games where they've blown out a lot of people. Um, obviously, you know, when you talk about Harry Chills, it starts with Trent Sicily. Um, and he's, it's just an extremely talented player, which is only going to make us play. I mean, we're not going to, we're going to continue to play players like him, whether it's in the summer or the next, you know, two, three years as we try to develop our guys. So it's going to be good for us to go against a guy like that, to strategize against a guy like that, and kind of look at some different, you know, thought process when it comes to game planning. So we're excited to go there. Um, haven't been there. We They were at home last year, so our kids haven't played there. Seen all sophomores and a, a couple seniors and juniors, so it's going to be good to go there. Um, Saturday, we've got our last home game of the year. Obviously, we've got senior night for all of our sports. We're excited to celebrate our one senior, Riley, and uh, and, and kind of send him off at of Brian Taylor. I wish, I mean, I wish usually that would be like this is the last game of Brian Taylor, but we are, we're hosting the sectional this year, so he does have one more game there at least, so that'll be good. It won't have be a complete goodbye to our home gym. Uh, but Posey, extremely similar, and, and ironically enough, played a tight game last week with them to Southridge. Just hard-nosed, very strong, stout kids that are all around the same height. They love to play the full court. Coach Seymour's doing a great job over there, getting them you know, how he wants them and how hard that they play. So it's going to be another you know, tough game on a Saturday, but at least we're going to be at home, so we've got that advantage for us. And, you know, I was uh, talking to um, Coach Hawkins at Heritage Shills, and he, he told me that um, he said you saw your first game of the year against, against Paris Central, and he said he's seen you lately. He goes, and he said there isn't a team in, in, in Indiana that's improved from the beginning and as much as Tough City has. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're trying to do. And we've, we've done a little bit of a better job of trying to get our kids to realize that, you know, it's, it's easy to get down when you're having a season like this and, and you think, oh, my gosh, you know. Nobody has to be one in 20. It, it happens all the time, and it happens at good programs, too. We try to sell our kids, too. Everybody goes through these. And, you know, we just try to get better every game. That's all we can do. And so we've shown them, actually, this past week, just games at the beginning of the year, clips of now. We're getting better. We're going to continue to get better, but we've got to stay with it. And, you know, you, you do have a very young team. It, you know, you know, with a young team, how do you prepare for a sectional young team? Well, you know, I, I mean, we got the advantage, obviously, being here, and, you know, that's going to really help us out, especially if we end up playing on a Tuesday. But the way we look at it, you know, there's three teams, I think, that are really good that can win it, and I think everybody else would say that, too. And I'd say Perry's up there with them. We're we're kind of there on that bottom end. I, I think Crawford's kind of in the same boat. We've had some tight games with them. And, and what we do to prepare is we're obviously hoping for a good draw. But if we don't get that, it's, you know, we need to get used to playing under, you know, in a sectional, the pressures, the 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 lights, the, the fans, the crowds, and all that kind of stuff, and really, you know, prepare them for those big games. Because we're going to be in more positions to win next year. We believe that, and we understand that, and we've got to be prepared to actually win those games and not crumble under pressure. We've had some games this year, you know, where we were in it, and we could have maybe stole one and got another win. But at the end, we kind of let it go. We didn't really know what to do. We weren't used to those situations. So we've really stressed on just situational basketball and, and getting them prepared. And, you know, we'll, we'll play music here that whole week, you know, in practice, just trying to simulate loud crowds and, um, and just kind of get them ready for that. But it's, you know, they're in a good position where they can play a little loose. They're young. They really don't got anything to lose. 
Uh, we don't need to get nervous, but we do need to handle pressure, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Well, Coach, good luck this week in the three PAC games you have left. And here's to a good draw in the sectional. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you're listening to the Greg Holland and Show on the Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Melvin Bells for Communications. We'll see you next week. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.